Creativity and art is like a memory trigger that can be used during reminiscent therapy, which is a therapeutic approach for cognitive decline and cognitive issues like dementia. It's mostly used for older people, but I think that if we intentionally use our art and creativity for reminiscent therapy, it can be a beneficial thing. It helps people create life stories that connects them to memories through the senses. So whether that's writing about the senses, getting photos, telling stories about significant moments that can be remembered, help you trigger your memory from the past and connect it to your current cognitive function abilities. You can watch a movie called Alive Inside, and there's people that are nonverbal, but when they listen to the song of their time period that has a cultural relevance to their lives for about five minutes, all of a sudden they come alive. And this is why creativity and art is so beneficial to something like reminiscent therapy. And I think that we should be using reminiscent therapy intentionally as we're young because we're bound to go through cognitive decline. Reminiscent therapy can be in the form of all of the senses, something that you smell, especially something that you hear, something that can help you travel into your memories and jog them. It can be a story. It can be a photo. It can be a scent. It can be something that connects you to a story that tells who you are where you came from, and why you're here. And if you can connect that to culture and a purpose, it's even stronger.